What's up guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. Now that's right you guys, and no snap! It's gonna be an awesome freaking day, so guys, welcome back, and happy showcase day. So today, today you find me standing in the very orange and very kind of yellowish area known as the Rift, taking a look at the East Manor. Now the East Manor is a, I would say, a small to medium-sized player home located where else, but the Rift, right down the road from good old Riften. Now, the mod description does say that it's close to Heartwood Mill, which I believe is on the other side of the uh, the lake over there, but the home itself comes with pretty much a lot of the bells and whistles that you would, you, you, know, you know, come to think would be inside of a player home. And I'm eager to take a look at the inside, but the outside, there's a ton of stuff going on outside of here as well. Not, not like, least of which is your own guard known as Aurelia. She does have um, the fruity pebble face that we've seen in other mods, but she can be a follower, and she kind of reminds me of Freya, honestly. She kind of looks like Freya, too. Though she's not blonde like... Where'd she go? She's not blonde like Freya, I don't think. She has red hair instead of blonde. I think that was... I think that was red hair. But I do like the fact that you've got these nice little, like, lamp posts and these fences all along the road that lead you right onto your property. Kind of a nice little touch. But then down here, we not only have ourselves a lake, but we also have the fish hatchery, which is honestly kind of cool. Having one of these little spots down here is always neat. I never really understood how to use them, but it's still kind of cool to have, not to mention lots of stuff in there in case you're one of those people who likes to play on survival mode. But then moving swiftly up onto the actual grounds of the home itself, we have ourselves an archery training camp over there with a couple different uh, archery targets, but then... We also have some cabbages and some potatoes and gourds and some wheat and all that good stuff. I do wish that there may have been, you know, some some fertile soil crop plots out here to go ahead and plant your own stuff. But I will say having that, you know, pre-made stuff is also kind of nice. But then, you know, the, the grounds around it do look really nice and really pretty. It's got all these nice birch trees and the overgrowth is a really cool touch. Got all sorts of barrel storage in here. Looks like we got some cows and some chickens and stuff like that just chilling out here next to the smelter. Which is always nice to see. Glad to see that you actually do have a smelter. And then it looks like we have ourselves some functioning apiaries over here for, you know, your honey needs and your bee needs and maybe your honeybee needs. Who, know, who knows? Now, it's nice to know that the smelter's outside. However, it looks like it's going to be separated from the rest of your crafting stuff. So, you know, take that for what it is. I do like all of my stuff to be kind of close together, but it looks like what we what we lack in a farm area over there, we make up for having fertile soil crop plots right there, as well as right here in these couple planters, which is very, very nice. Now, I believe that's everything on the outside of the home, so allow me to welcome you into the East Manor. And here we are, inside of the East Manor. I'm going to start calling it the Eastern Manor, because it's kind of, I think it, it has a better ring to it than just the East Manor. So, you can tell that this home is very, very heavily inspired by Proudspire Manor. But here, right at the front, we've got ourselves all of the shrines. First, a very nice thing. One, because the house is free. So you don't have to go, you know, and pay tribute to any of these gods um, at any of the uh, the altars around Skyrim. But two, having all of them in one place is kind of nice. Especially for those of us that like to pick and choose and maybe um, differentiate between which god we actually follow. Now, if you're hearing... We do indeed have a bard inside of the house as well. And it looks like we have a nice big dinner table here set with a jazz bay crostata. I'll be ticking that, thank you. Now, that's interesting. There's an Eye of the Falmer, as well as Sorek's Skull, the Bust of the Grey Fox, and uh, the, what is that, the, the Rubicon? Or not the Rubicon, the, um, the Dwarven Lexicon or something like that. But what's neat about it is it's actually static clutter. I think that's kind of nice. I like the jeweled goblets, too. That's kind of nifty. A little bit more static decor over there. Would be nice if the, the plates and stuff were static decor, but, you know, can't always be that way, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and shut her up since uh, she. I'm trying to talk here, lady. So it looks like there's another, another door that leads into here, most likely the actual front door itself. But I do like this kind of living room area. I think it could probably use a little bit more sprucing up. Maybe some art on the walls, some overgrowth, some, you know, some ivy and stuff like that hanging somewhere else. But overall, kind of a nice place to see. Got yourself a bartender. 
Drink for the thirsty. And it looks like he comes with all sorts of stuff. He also sells you banded iron shields. So that's a good thing. But a little bit of storage everywhere, which is always nice to have. Gotta have some nice storage. Now, if I had to guess, this is probably the storeroom. Got some honey right there. And the kitchen, yes indeed. But there's also, these are most likely the beds for your bard and then your cook. Now, you also have your oven right here that I find in a strange position. I think it would probably be suited better here because it's right next to the cooking area rather than on the other side of the person's bed. Though, who knows? You, you roll out of bed and you want to bake yourself a fresh pie. So maybe that's what, that's why this is here. Maybe that's the case. But then if I had to guess, this is the door that's behind him. Yeah, so if you want to come in here, store a few things in here, got yourself some nice reserves, everything like that. Kind of nice to have that in here. Now there's a few ways that we can go. We've already come in that way, but we can go downstairs or we can go upstairs. Let's go and start with the downstairs area and take a look at what we've got. Looks like I can already see a staff enchanter as well as an arcane enchanter over here with some nice static decor as well as some safes and strong boxes. And a bookshelf for the bookworms of Skyrim. Got yourself a working armor plaque, or a weapon plaque, I should say. More bookshelves, staff enchanter, armor mannequin, as well as some nice little static decor, some static clutter. That's literally from a loading screen, if I'm not mistaken. But then, as we move more through the home, I do like this big fireplace that's right here in this in the crafting area. Though I do wonder. Why not make this the smelter area and then have the chimney go up through the house? I think that probably could have been a nice a nice feature to have. But you got yourself the grindstone and you have your anvil as well as your workbench and a tanning rack, which is always nice to see. So you have the full, uh, the full smithing suite. Looks like we have some more guest bedroom area down here. Nice little office right here to go ahead and do some taxes. Very nice little area. But again, kind of bland. I think it could definitely do with some more sprucing up. Maybe some more art on the walls. Maybe some, you know, some more overgrowth, everything like that. We'll go through that door here momentarily. But we have a small armory over here. Though small, I would, I would say, is maybe a bit of an understatement. I'd say it's a medium-sized one. And the display racks do actually work, which is always nice to see. It's kind of a 50-50 chance that they work or they don't work. Got some armor mannequins over there as well, and then some weapon racks as well, which is always nice to see. And then down here, looks like we also have the alchemy lab. Now see, more of this throughout the house would be fantastic. I love the way this looks right here. Alchemy lab, as well as some display cases, and some satchels to go ahead and store some alchemical ingredients. Very, very nice. Lots and lots of great ingredients right here, which I don't know if they respawn. I would hope that they would. Because there's some really good stuff in here. Honestly, you could make some good potions with the stuff that you have already. Now let's go ahead and take a look at where this door actually leads to. Because it leads back out to Skyrim. But if I had to guess, it's probably just a basement door. Yep, that's all it is. So it looks like there's three doors uh, in total to get inside the house. There's, there's this basement one. Then there's the one that we came in through. And then the actual front door. And then let's finally take a look at what is upstairs. Up upstairs, I should say. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be your bedroom and maybe a bathroom. I could be wrong about the bathroom. But I do like having a nice little fireplace right here. Little seating area. Pop a squat, grab yourself a goblet and a bottle of Sir Lyle Brothers wine and you're good to go. And then let's take a look. This is most likely your bedroom. Yes, indeed. Ooh, is that a stone of Baron Zaya? No, it's not, but it's a kind of a custom texture one. That's kind of cool. I want to see more of that in mods. I mean, maybe with the actual textures and stuff, because I think that's kind of a, a rendering problem, if I'm not mistaken. But we've got ourselves a study right here. Sir Lyle Brothers Wine, of course. Only the best for our people here that live in East Manor. But then let's go ahead and make sure that this actually doesn't do anything. It's the Black Book. I was half expecting it to teleport you to Apocrypha or something like that. But I do like the fact that there's a nice mixture of static decor, but also the regular clutter that can be thrown around and stuff like that. It's a nice balance, I'd say. Though I really do wish that there was more of of the static clutter throughout the house, more overgrowth, and maybe some more, um, you know, paintings and stuff like that. Maybe some more windows. 
But altogether, I really like the home. What's not to like about it, though? Let me know what you guys are thinking down there in the comment section. Did you like it? Did you hate it? And would you use this home, more importantly? And if so, what would you use it for? It's basically Proud Spire Manor in Riften. So do please let me know what you guys are thinking down there in the comment section. I'm eager to hear what you have to say about it. But until next time, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next showcase.